Today's recipe is spinach mushroom quiche with feta cheese and sweet potato crust. This is one of the popular brunch or supper dish uh, which is made with the pie shell but we are using the sweet potato shell uh, crust to make it uh, gluten free and it is smooth and creamy with spinach and mushrooms inside. I'm sure you're going to love it so let me show you how. So before we start with the uh, crust of the sweet potatoes uh, we'll turn our oven up uh, on at 350 degree Fahrenheit and so we have a 9 inch pie plate here and I have some uh, sliced sweet potatoes you can see I have sliced it very thin this I have used my just my knife uh, you can use a mandolin or a grater or uh, you can also slice them in um, uh, in your food processor so this is how like thick you want or how thin you want your uh, sweet potatoes to be so this is about two medium sized sweet potatoes and in this i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil or any vegetable oil this is about one tablespoon so we'll just add that and mix this up with the spoon or a spatula just like this and then I'll show you how to arrange them so we'll start with the end we'll overlap the slices so that covers all the surfaces So we'll go in concentric circles like this till we come to the middle. So I've done overlapping the sweet potato slices and making the bottom crust layer. And now, which I forgot to mention before, just oil the pie, pie dish before you place the sweet potatoes or just spray it with the cooking spray, all the walls and the bottom. So do that. And now for the sides. Now for the sides, you can just take the round slices and cut the edges just like this and make like halves or I would say two thirds and then place it along the edges just like that. I'm done with layering of the potatoes and um, make sure the edges like in the edges the round side up, up uh, is up and the flat side down and they are overlapping each other so my pie plate is done so we i'm going to bake this at 350 degree fahrenheit for 20 minutes till the potatoes are a little tender and in the meantime i'll show you the filling now to make the filling in a hot pan this is in medium high heat we are adding about one tablespoon of olive oil and let it heat. We are going to add half a cup of sliced or chopped onions. And we'll saute for three minutes. So after three minutes, when the onion has softened a little bit, I'm going to add three uh, cloves of garlic. We'll saute again. To that, we are adding about, uh, this is three uh, mushrooms. Uh, this is cremini mushroom. You can add uh, white mushroom or anything of your choice. Saute it for a few minutes till it becomes a little bit tender. So once the mushrooms have browned, we're going to add about uh, a five ounce bag of fresh spinach, or mm, roughly about two cups of spinach. And then again, we'll saute it for three minutes. Okay. 
And once this becomes soft after three minutes, we'll just turn it off and let it cool. So after the 20 minutes, the crust looks like this. So we are going to let it cool. Take a sheet pan and uh, put it inside the wire rack in the oven and raise the temperature of the oven to 375 degree Fahrenheit and uh, let it heat. Um, then once it reaches 375, then pull, we'll put the quiche in. So in the meantime, when it is rising to 375, I'll show you how to make the, egg, the filling. egg custard filling inside. Uh, we're going to take four large eggs and uh, actually you can add two more eggs too but i want to make it a little bit lighter so i'm adding two more uh, egg whites that is uh, approximately about one third cup of egg whites into four large eggs then about half a cup of milk you can use uh, low fat milk or full fat milk whichever you want then quarter teaspoonful of salt. You don't want to give a lot of salt because feta cheese, which we are going to add at last, has a lot of salt in it. Uh, so that's why. And uh, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And this is quarter teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper. Now, if you want to leave it out because you don't want the extra heat, that's fine. So we'll whisk them. So our egg custard filling is done. Now we'll bring the pie, the crust. So we have the sweet potato crust here. Now we are in the bottom. We are going to add the spinach and mushroom mixture. Now this, if you want to make it a more versatile, you can always add a little bit of more roasted garlic or sun-dried tomato or uh, actually the original recipe didn't call for mushroom but I like the mushroom and spinach which goes together so well and you can always add a little bit of protein in there so layer the spinach and then we are going to add the egg mixture slowly And then we are going to add the feta cheese if you don't have feta cheese you can always use goat cheese or if you don't don't have goat cheese then you can always add the mozzarella or cheddar white cheddar whatever works for you so this is done so this will go in the oven on top of the sheet pan for at 375 degree Fahrenheit and we'll cook it till the egg sets that is around like uh, for 30 minutes or 30, uh, 35 minutes and then we'll show you how it looks the quiche is done here you can see we will uh, we'll let it cool for about 10 minutes till the egg settles in and uh, looks perfect then we can cut a slice and show you how it looks so the quiche has cooled and uh, so let me show you how it looks if I cut a wedge You can see the perfect layers of the sweet potatoes in there and the custard with the spinach and the mushrooms and the feta cheese. I'm sure you're going to love this one and you can make it for breakfast or just for any meal and I hope you're going to make it soon and enjoy it. So see you next time. Bye.
Please subscribe, like and comment on my YouTube channel Simply Saffron by Pooja Seal and don't forget to push the bell icon for further notifications and thanks for watching and keep on watching.